And here's what he's doing. Hey guys, Andre here. Today I want to share with you this little trick. I'm not sure if it's a trick, it's not a secret, and I think a lot of people are already doing this. Anyway, I want to show you this free uh, virtual instrument uh, that I've been using, and it's not the only one because there's a lot of virtual instruments for free that sound really good. And I happen to use this one in two little tunes that I made, which I think that came really good. So let me show you. Okay, guys, here's the little tune that I told you about. This is actually the project where I wrote uh, this song, uh, and this was for a company. And I did use this scene that is free, which is from the contact library, which is free. And it's here in the contact factory selection. And this, this one, lead, hard and dirty. And it sounds like this. And so what it's doing here is uh, helping these guitars to be bigger, I guess. And here's what it's doing. When I mute them, you really notice that something is missing. And what I want is that they are there in the background doing their job uh, without being noticeable. If you listen here, this part of the song, there are no scenes whatsoever. You will notice when the song comes to this part. You know what? Let's just hear from the beginning because this is just a few seconds. So, it sounds really cool to me. And what I did after I finished this tune was that I bounced this MIDI region to an uh, audio file. And it's not just this virtual instrument. Actually, I'm everything that you are hearing, uh, production elements, are all from Logic. So, if you're using Logic, uh, you, you have them. For instance, we have here a couple of impacts and reverse effects. Uh, that sounds like this. crashes because the drums are programmed and felt the need of accentuate the crashes. And you can find everything here in the sound library of Logic. Now, I know that Cubase has, because I use Cubase and Logic, and Cubase has a lot of uh, sounds and virtual instruments too, uh, and I'm pretty sure if you're not using the Logic or Cubase, I'm almost sure that the DAW that you are using probably has a ton of sounds too. And I guess that's it for this video. I hope this can help anyone. Uh, and if so, I would be really happy to help you. And now I've been thinking, I'm not sure if you guys are interested. I have here uh, a few audio interfaces. I have the SSL2, I have the Universal Audio Vault uh, 276 and the Claret 2. Claret Plus 2 from Focusrite. I wasn't thinking about doing gear videos, but I don't know, since I have them here, since I've tried them for the last couple of months, uh, if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments. Until there, I see you in the next video. Cheers.